Hi, I'm Mike, owner of the In Group in Phoenix, Arizona. We just got a pretty major collection in from one of my YouTube viewers. He was kind of thinning out his record collection, so this is kind of some of the stuff he didn't want any longer. So it's a big mix, a big hodgepodge of stuff, but let's take a look through it. It's a lot of audiophile stuff, it's a lot of jazz, it's a lot of Japanese pressings, uh, analog, reissues, kind of the works. But let's start right here. Ornette Coleman Trio, this is Japanese pressing, UK, first copy, pressing, uh, first pressing uh, on, not the translucent, but closer. Unknown Pleasures, again, a UK first pressing, but this is also not on the translucent vinyl. That's a local Flagstaff band. Some sealed Bebop Deluxe, UK BBC, early UK pressing Abbey Road. Bardo Pond, some Count Basie, some Pablo Oscar Peterson, or Joan Armstrong. No clue what that is. Dogs, and you can see it's like I said, a lot of UK imports. Jeff Beck Wired, that's a UK import. Live at Ronnie Scott's, that's a really clean. Warner Brothers green uh, pressing. Mosaic box, the complete Tina Brooks. That's actually uh, really rare. Look at Butch and the Snake Stretchers. This is, um, God, I'm having a brain fart. This is uh, God, who is this? This is he. Couldn't get anybody to produce it. He self-produced the album. Yeah, of course, I can't think of it. As soon as I stop filming, I'll remember it. But uh, pretty desirable in the brown, in the brown sack. How it originally came. You see him online, go for some decent money with, out the burlap sack. But with the burlap sack, they're quite expensive. UK pressing a madman. Monk on Jazzland. UK pressing of uh, Elton's self-titled. Robert Johnson, LP box. Jesse Johnson. We got a Linda Jones hypnotized. This is a Liberty pressing. You have Sheila Jordan on Blue Note. West Feathers. It's a six eye of Brubex take, yeah, take five. Japanese Chicago, the Church, Guns and Roses, Chinese Democracy, Best Buy exclusive, more Church, Gary Clark Jr. Live. All right, let's move over a box. Jimi Hendrix. This is a lot of the recent reissue Hendrix family stuff. Oh, this was sealed. Live at Woodstock. On the run of Bill Connors, Sam Cooke, Tool, pretty nice early Hoodoo Man blues on Del Mark, Sealed Nancy Wilson, Niles Lofgren, some more just recent audiophile type reissues. This is a really clean. Two-tone, Electric Ladyland, Hank Mobley, some Japanese uh, Hank Mobley titles, Blue Mitchell, Mobley's Another Workout, Mobley Message, Hank Mobley Soul Station. This is a promo Japanese pressing. Hank Mobley's Peckin' Time, Hank Mobley, Hank Mobley Six Tit. The Jazz Message Of, this is actually on Savoy, Japanese pressing, Hank Mobley, Japanese, no Obi. this is the Analog Productions double disc 45 RPM of uh, Dippin', nice early stereo, 
born under a bad sign. Lou Mitchell, Libertines, that's on red vinyl. Last couple last exits. Pretty clean John Lennon Imagine. This is a real clean Zeppelin IV US pressing. Sealed Albert King. Sealed Freddie King. Roland Kirk. Pretty nice gold label. Pretty clean. Forever Changes Love and DeCapo as well. That's a mono. Taj Mahal, some mahogany rush. Libertines. Mason. All right. You got a bunch of mono. That's Pelican and mono. Hiroshima, Mofi, Johnny Hodges. Let's see. Ed James, Keith Jarrett, the Hollies bus stop. Meat puppets, some more real clean meat puppets. That's sealed up on the sun. The uh, raw meat EP. Really clean first album on SST and the shrink. Metallica, nothing else matters. With some pat nothing. You can really see this is a definite hodgepodge of records from a guy who has a pretty large collection who just wanted to thin out. Bill Connors test pressing. Gary Moore. Some mother's finest. Pretty clean copy of uh, For Your Love and Rave Up, both mono. Lester Young, some Commodores, John Coltrane, Coltrane's Lost Album. I think that's his second to last release. They've released something else after that. They keep finding all these lost albums. <laughs> some Jeff Huey, some Zappa, real nice copy of uh, Ruben and the Jets. Some more Zappa, Mother's Finest. My Bloody Valentine. Let's see, pretty nice Charlie Parker on Savoy. Jimmy Page, Black Crows. Zombies, Sealed Highwaymen. Very good. Jim Blossoms. If you never heard Dusted, you got to check it out online. Jim Blossoms, local Tempe band. A lot of the songs on Dusted were re recorded for their first major label debut. But this is more of a punkish album. You know, faster, much more up tempo. You know, but check out Hey Jealousy. You know, you can kind of hear from the popular version that lit came out later versus the private press. It's uh, really a good album. Duke Ellington, Dizzy Gillespie, some Japanese Bud Powell. This is actually nice. It's sealed on Jazz Land. Grant Green, Liberty Pressing, I Want to Hold Your Hand. West Montgomery on Riverside. You know, Little Rascals, it's sealed, it's mono. I know it's a little. Excuse me, the Young Rascals, <laughs> not the Little Rascals. Is it that TV show? Prince. This has actually been out of print for a little while. Real nice, clean copy of Getz Galbarto. Some traffic. This is a Steve Vai test pressing. Fishbone. This is actually one of the records in this collection I'm going to keep. This is a, uh, I've got Cold Fact. He has, Rodriguez has two albums. 
they did a documentary about them not too long ago. But this has always been a pretty good psych, folk psych powerhouse. But uh, I have an original clean in the shrink copy of Cold Fact. And yeah, now uh, we've got coming, coming from reality. Prince, bootleg. Pretty nice Bud Powell's moods. Some singles. Nice UK pressing stuff. Tool, opiate, seal. What's that? Joe Satriani, Surfing with the Alien. Some Carlos Santana. Some UK pressing shot, eh? Both uh, UK pressings. There's a nice UK sticky fingers. This is a German copy of The Queen is Dead. This is on green wax. Tatum. Yes, yeah, on Verve, not one you see too many from art. Johnny Thunders. Test pressing a Thin Lizzy Black Rose, really nice. Bad Reputation. Sealed Sun House. Mississippi John Hurt. Nice uh, Liberty Pressing. Bobby Hutcherson. Some odd Jamal. Real nice Ben Webster. King of the Tenors on Verve. Ben Webster, Japanese pressing. Move this out of the way. Oh, jack up my Rodriguez. David Bowie, nice UK first pressing of uh, Pink Floyd's The Division Bell. This is the Analog Productions version of our pe Art Pepper Meets Rhythm section. They did a 45 RPM a little later on. I've got that. I'm going to keep the lower uh, speed version and compare the two. Some Art Pepper, Art Pepper Smack Up, Perfect Circle, 13th Step, really nice Doug Carnes, Mogway, Great Sam Records title, Felonious Monk. This is probably sounds like crap. Electronically reprocessed Horace Silver. That's actually a nice first pressing plasticite. Incredible Jimmy Smith. Some Johnny Smith. Mono. John Mayall. John McLaughlin. That's actually nice too. That's a nice uh, early pressing. I think this is the first pressing. Mono, another stereo. Yeah, look at that stereo hype sticker. Song for my father, Horace Silver. Some more Horace Silver. Really good, the Jody Grind. Really good Horace Silver album. Doesn't go for much. It's actually a nice, uh, looks like a first pressing as well, yeah. Oscar Peterson. Wynton Kelly Trio. Take six. I mean, you can see the collection is just all over the place. Billy Stewart. Hendrix at Monterey. And the Last Emperor soundtrack. Now, this is actually... Fantastic. This is a box of all reggae that is like stone mint, near mint condition stuff. You know, we get virtually no reggae here in Arizona, but you know, looking this stuff, this stuff up, you know, I'm not a reggae expert at all, but almost every one of these are 20, 30, 40, 50 dollars. And you know, the median on discogs on this kind of stuff is typically representative of VG records are worse. 
not unplayed, you know, reggae 12 inches. But yeah, I'll kind of skim through this because I could be looking at a $5 record. I could be looking at, you know, a $100 record. You know, when I purchased the collection, I went through this. I looked it all up. There's some albums in the back. A couple Steel Pulse. Some more common stuff, but... You know, there's not many people in Phoenix buying reggae, but the few people that do buy it, they just scoop it all up. So, you know, have no problem selling this. All right. Couple box sets. Thelonious Monk. This is the complete Riverside box. And this is actually probably the biggest box set that Mosaic ever did on vinyl. The complete Capital Nat King Cole Trio. Still sealed. But this is kind of the rest of it. There was some 12, uh, some uh, more reggae. So, actually, check out some of these. Look at this, Lee Morgan's Cornbread. This is a Compact 33 Stereo LP. This is actually for a jukebox. This would, you know, uh, be played on a jukebox. And there's some reggae seven inches, but he had, look at that. You know, they're not worth much, Lou Donaldson. But, you know, they have the Jimmy Smith's The Sermon, you know, but a Compact 33, it's got the juke strips in it still. You know, the Montgomery uh, Brothers. But yeah, super cool. Something you just never see. But let's go through some of the box sets. Complete Keynote. This is a bunch of, uh, this is kind of a comp of probably 78 rips, you know, Japanese box set of the Keynote label. Mahogany Rush, test pressing. Some more Mahogany Rush. What do we got here? Just more, you know, more reggae 12-inch stuff. Just what's in the crate. Now, I've got an okay world section, you know, a lot of Nigerian stuff, uh, a lot of soul, stuff of that nature, but this will, like, quadruple my reggae section. Chuck Berry chest box. This is actually a pretty nice box. This is, doesn't go for a ton of money, but the Keith Jarrett Sun Bear concerts. Uh, this is a box set of all of his recorded concerts in Japan. Nick Drake, Fruit Tree uh, box. West Montgomery. I forget what the hell this was. I know it was worth around 100 bucks, and the first 500 copies were autographed. Bill Nelson. Frank Zappa, Shut Up and Play Your Guitar. Actually, this is a hard album to find clean. Flamingos. I mean, it's just so clean. I'm actually going to take this home and add this to my collection. I don't listen to a ton of doo-wop, but the Flamingos is such a... You know, it's in a different league. The Escorts, Ellington at Newport, sealed copy of uh, Earth, Wind, and Fire. Willie Dixon, I Am the Blues, 2i Columbia, Dire Straits, Charlie Christian, some Chicago. Seal copy of Jeff Beck, Basie at Birdland, Boss Tenor, some Cannonball, nice original Riversides. This is a reseal, I'm sure, but it's relatively clean. I haven't cracked it open yet. This is, you know, this is one of those box sets, George Harrison box. It's always crushed and destroyed. Art Pepper. Japanese pressing alive at the Village Vanguard. Actually quite nice. Uh, this was the 45 RPM cut by Bernie Grunman. 
all analog John Coltrane's Giant Steps came in this replica box that was supposed to replicate, you know, the outside of the original master tape. This is a sealed Columbia House copy of uh, Jimi Hendrix soundtrack. Judah Hip, Japanese pressing, no Obi. Just some U.S. pressing, Jethro Tull, The Church. What is this test pressing? Graham Central Station. And some Count Basie, Oscar Peterson Trio. But yeah, it'll take me a few days. I'll get this processed and put into the store. But, oh, you know what? That actually wasn't even the coolest thing that came in today. So a guy came in earlier today with a box of typical mediocre box, Frank Sinat Sinatra, you know, junk. A lot of Moldovani, Lawrence Welk. But inside of it were just three, just super clean, minty Helen Merrill's. Typical Emerson cover came apart. But yeah, that was uh, the highlight of my day. And uh, all three of these will be going home. All right, guys, I'm Mike. Until next time.